We have a menu here. Christopher, talk to us. This is a uh, this is a um, this is a sample of what what we would do. Um, you know, the salad. We start off with the the Caesar salad. We do we do the best Caesar salad in town. Um, whether it's table side or you know, we just start with the freshest ingredients and go from there. Um, and then we'll give you a choice of entrees. Um, we have four of them listed here. Um, pan, -se pan seared Pacific white sea bass uh, served with the black pepper tagliatelle and pasta, uh, sauteed baby spinach, and fire roasted tomato sauce. I mean, you like sea bass, you like fish, that's, that's the way to go. Um, chicken, uh, we do a southwestern uh, pan roasted chicken with uh, brown sugar rub, uh, mashed potatoes, and a spicy corn sauce. And then we have our um, petite filet that we serve with our, our house-made uh, Bernays sauce. Uh, fabulous. And then uh, for those who are vegetarians, we do a nice grilled vegetable tower. Uh, I layer it with uh, portobello mushrooms, zucchini, uh, yellow squash, uh, carrots, uh, red onion, roasted red bell pepper, and I finish it with uh, a balsamic glaze. And it, I mean, I'm not, I won't say I'm a vegetarian, but I would, I would just chow down on that. that that's how good that is. I was just going to say, I'm a meat eater. <laughs> I, I think I have a problem with that one. True. I mean, and, and you know what? It, it's, it, it just gives you, it, it just, the, the taste, just all the fresh vegetables. Like I said, we get them from local, local uh, gardeners, and it's, it, they just go together. Um, and then we'll, we'll get, we serve um, our family style side dishes, uh, our old school mashed potatoes, and then our uh, grilled asparagus with heirloom tomatoes. Um, mm. you know, heirloom tomatoes are just the best, and they're, they're so ripe and just go together. And then um, to finish it off, we, uh, we do, uh, Jason can probably tell you, um, the banana foster, probably our most popular dessert. We do it table side, um, serve it in a martini glass. Um, a nice big twill cookie coming out of the Tahitian vanilla ice cream, and then uh, the Fosters and the bananas go over top of it. Yeah, that's what, what a fan favorite. Way. That's yeah, by all means a perfect way to finish up a meal. I mean, absolutely. It's, it's and what a, and what a wonderful meal to remember for your guests to remember for the for the rehearsal dinner. They go home, and it's it's going to be hard to top. I, I'll tell you. I mean, and this is just a, a sample. I mean, we we can sit down and we customize to their needs. To, to the customer's needs. You know what else I find funny, because I do a lot of the, the selling of the events and in detail with the, with the groups. Um, it seems like the, the, the groom actually gets some say-so when it comes to, because he certainly doesn't know any. <laughs> <laughs> but in, in the rehearsal dinner, it's almost like it's, hey, it's, it's my night. Let me let me pick the menu. And so sometimes we'll have um, uh, a bride a, a menu like this with a big 18-ounce cowboy ribeye and wrapped on lamb, because they want that big steakhouse guy thing. Um, so it's funny, but um, that's some of, some of the things we experience with the menu design with these folks. Oh, that's fantastic. And Jason, and I have to tell you, I think one of, the, one, of the, one of the other things that really stands out is the staff. The attentiveness, the, the, the just great people that you manage for. I mean, they just come across so uh, caring about every, if everything is okay and Everything is just the details and the, and the way that they service the customers is just remarkable. It's very noticeable. The restaurant, uh, we're now on our ninth year uh, since it was opened. And uh, a lot of the staff that we do have here has been here since day one. Um, like I said, they're phenomenal. Uh, they're phenomenal. They, they know the restaurant side now. Um, they're, they've always been phenomenal when it comes to, to guest service. So, like I said, it's, it's a really nice kind of combination. But the fact, I mean, just the loyalty and how much they love this place. It really goes, it shows in how they, they take care of their guests. Oh, it really does. And you walk away feeling special because you're treated special. No, by all means. Yeah. It's a fantastic place for rehearsal dinner. The falls in, uh, right in the, in the center of Palm Springs, right on Palm Canyon Drive. Yep. Walking, walking distance from hotels, B&Bs, little boutique hotels, everything's right around us. It's just... And the spa casino. And yeah. the spa casino, <laughs> absolutely. And of course, the second location, which is in La Quinta. And I, did we talk about the Moulin Rouge room? No, but I'll be happy to. Uh, again, each restaurant, both the restaurants have some unique appeal. The, the La Quinta one, when you walk in the front door, um, it's got a big foyer to the left. There's a, big, a very large outdoor bar. Um, and, and then behind that's our private dining room, similar to the Bilardo here. We call it the gallery down there. And it's got a huge window that looks out onto the San Jaquinta Mountains. 
then off that room, which is kind of center stage, it's called the Moulin Rouge Dining Room. It's all red velvet. It's got a big wine room behind it. Two of the walls are waterfalls. So it's pretty sexy. It's cool. It's a very cool room. It's got the high back booze. Um, a lot of um, a lot of proposals in that room as well. Uh, but that room lends itself to, to groups more in the 15 to 20 range because of the way the booze and things work. But it's a wonderful place to have a small gathering. And then we have a room called the Fire and Ice Dining Room, which is a much larger dining room. It's got a private patio off it, which that room works great for a larger group. Like we'll get, like I've heard some dinner coming up down there for about 70 people. They've got the fire and ice room, which comfortably seats about 100. And off there, I have a patio that seats 40. That's perfect for mingling for 70. So we'll do a cocktail um, a cocktail hour out there with bumper past the herbs, cocktails, and then we'll adjourn into the dining room and have dinner um, in their own private setting. So that particular restaurant works great as well. It's just, you know, there's just different ways. It's, it's almost like two different restaurants in the same, the same building. So. It really is. They have completely different feelings. Yeah. Well, before we take off, what do we have here? We have our um, almond and honey baked brie with um, an apricot and fig chutney, and then just some fresh uh, Dianjou pears and some nice toasted French bread. The fig and apricot combination is amazing. We had that the other night, and it was really nice. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This thank is, you. I, I can't. I can't even begin to tell you what a fun place to have a rehearsal dinner. Just absolutely the best, the falls. Cheers, thank you. Cheers to that. <laughs>